avoid fads in technology. Um, this happens a lot. Silicon Valley loves bubbles. So they love bubbles. And so um, they grow very quickly and they become very big. A big like market cap thing. Um, but then when the bubble bursts, the investors go flee. They just are gone. And so this happened, for example, the dot com and, and the, the shopping sites, which were uh, for a while, you know, you could take a napkin and write a business plan and, and get it funded. Well, not really, but that's along that line. But after 2001, is that it was just a barren desert zone. Is that there was nothing to be had in, in that space. And so I think I see some of the same things happening here with social media. Is that we see some of the social media companies, there's one about to do an IPO very soon. There's another one that did an IPO about a year ago. And have market caps on, you know, measured in tens to hundreds of billions of dollars. Is that um, they're going to need to prove themselves in terms of having sustainable customers that aren't just free users. And it's yet to be seen on whether or not that model is going to stick. So, social media is certainly here. I'm not disputing that. But I'm just questioning whether or not the valuations that some of the companies have are going to, are going to hold up in time.